Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Wake and Stretch in May. So as you can see behind me, I have chosen a new location. If you've watched any of my pre-recorded videos, then you know exactly where I am. <laughs> uh, it is kind of sunny this morning, as you can see, so I will be slightly backlit. Hopefully you can still see and hear everything. If this is your first time joining me, um, just know that I do this practice to show up, to show up for you, to show up for me, um, so that we have something to do <laughs> and to take care of ourselves and of course, all the wonderful positives that yoga and movement give to us. Um, just know that as we go through, as I go through these wake and stretch each morning in May, um, I'll do minimal instruction, so I'll give you a heads up before I'm going there because I do my practices intuitively, meaning I have no plan. I show up on the mat. Sometimes I have props, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I have dogs around me, sometimes I don't. But you'll hear a lot of nature now that I'm outside. And just a heads up, the dogs had a little bit of a scrapple this morning, so they may continue that. I have no idea. So I apologize <laughs> in advance if they do. Um, Zeus, Loki, and Socks are all hanging out, and if there's a cow nearby, if there's a person nearby, they may go ballistic. Just giving you a heads up. I have no idea what they're going to do, but I do know that um, this practice will probably take about a half an hour to 40 minutes. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll go all the way to a full hour, so we'll see, and there's one of the dogs behind me now. That's Miss Socks. All right, anyhow, um, thanks for joining me. And I'm gonna jump on the mat. I do have a tennis ball with me. My feet are feeling a little tight this morning. I don't know how the rest of you is feeling, but we're gonna find out once we get on the mat. So if you do have a tennis ball or something similar to a tennis ball, go ahead and grab it. Uh, I'm gonna start by rolling out the feet. All right, here we go. So. I may have to get socks to lay down because when there's a socks, there's a Zeus. If we're letting feet, these two are playmates. Come on, Zeus. All right, Zeus is going to give me a hug right now. That's funny. All right, so I'm going to attempt to roll my feet out even though he's leaning on me. Oh, he's leaning hard. So I'm bringing the tennis ball to the arch of my foot. I'm just kind of rolling it up and down, back and forth, round in circles. Whatever feels right. Lay down, Zeus. Our feet do so much for us, so it's nice to start with a little opening here of the feet. Don't forget about the toes. They like to be stretched out too. I know Zeus. Right? And if anybody's into reflexology, you know that the bottoms of the feet refer to everything else in the body. So it's nice to give them a nice awakening. So I'm gonna to switch to the other side. Roughly about a minute per foot, give or take a few seconds. And that sound is a peacock, if you've never heard that before. Not the most romantic of sounds, but you always know when they're around. Right, just a few more seconds on this foot. And hopefully the dogs will leave my tennis ball alone. Okay, so I'm gonna move the tennis ball over here. Although Zeus has already spied it, he may go and try to steal it. Yep. He has claimed the tennis ball for his own. Okay. So I'm going to give an additional stretch to my feet here. So I'm rolling through toes. I'm just kind of going from the ball of the foot, gently rolling over the tips of the toes to stretch out the top of my foot. <laughs> and the tennis ball just got away from him. Go get it, buddy. Go get your ball. And I switch to the other side just to get the toes a little bit more stretched out. Hopefully 
hopefully that'll keep him busy for a little bit trying to find the tennis ball. Okay, so I'm gonna give a little bit of a wake up shake. Oh, aren't you a good puppy? You found that really fast. Dude, <laughs> he just totally hijacked my mat. All right. <clears throat> So I'm gonna come down onto the mat here and come into a child's pose. And I'm taking this, so out, so I'm inversion free, meaning that my head is either in line with or higher than the heart. This way the hips, the lower back, the legs get a nice opening, but I'm foregoing the upper body, partially because this baby dinosaur is in front of me, right? All right, so from here, I'm gonna move the dog's legs out of my way, tuck the toes and bind down with these toes. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, gross, <laughs> he slobbered all over the mat. Oh, but thanks for the kisses, buddy. Giving a little pedal through the legs. And I think this morning we're gonna take a nice twist here. So I'm gonna bring the right heel in towards my center line. So that leg is outwardly rotated. The left leg is parallel and nice and light so it can float. Most of my weight is on the left hand. And I'm gonna lift up the right leg. That's not a leg, that's a hand. <laughs> the right hand and give a twist. So I'm opening up to the right. This gives it a nice stretch through the right waistline. I'm coming back through center. Need a little break from being upside down, so I'm going to take some child's pose. These big monster feet that Zeus has. Everybody on the ball again. All right, coming into downward facing dog again. This time taking the left heel in, right, light, right heel lifts up. I'm going to come nice and light onto my left fingertips and I'm pressing my left hip back to get a nice stretch to the left side of the body. And coming back through center, shifting forward to a plank. I'd stay in plank for a few breaths. Hazus, Hazus. Oh, yes, Hazus. So from here, I'm going to walk my hands back towards my feet and take a nice ragdoll here. But I'm going to keep the spine long. I want to protect my lower back a little bit this morning. Oh. Move forward. <laughs> And keep the spine nice and long. Fingertips can come to the mat or your shin bones, wherever you need them to go. And I think I'm going to take a little bit more side opening here. Coming into an Uttanasana, this is actually Ardha Uttanasana, it's a half lift. Bending the left knee, keeping the right leg straight, and then bringing the right fingertips to the opposite edge of the mat. This gets along the hamstring and the waistline, and you may feel this through the shoulder and the ribs too, all on the right side. Coming back through center, switching to the other side. Right knee bends, left fingertips reach across to the right side of the mat. back to your center and take each side one more time. Coming back to your center and then switching over to the opposite. Side. Bringing everything back to your center, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhaling, lifting halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, reverse swan dive, coming all the way up through vertical. Exhale, hands come to the heart. 
So taking a few breaths here with the arms, inhale, squeezing up. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Take a few more breaths just like this. On your next inhale, let the arms sweep up. Keep them up. Exhale where you need. Interlace the fingers. Pointer finger goes up towards the sky. Squeeze the head and we'll take a standing crescent pose. So inhale, lengthen up through the spine. And then exhale, lean over to your left. Inhaling, coming up. Exhale over to the other side. Or maybe this is called standing half moon. Either way, it looks like a crescent pose, but you're on two feet parallel. Keep going side to side with your breath. Bring it back through center, nice full inhale at the hands release, and exhale, fold it forward. And I'm going to do some spinal ripples here. So as I inhale, I'm going to roll up and come to a nice diagonal on the spine. And then as I exhale, I'm going to bend the knees and I'm going to let myself arch and then fold forward. So inhaling, rolling up, then arching at the top, and then exhale, unfolding it forward. Inhale, engage the abdominals, start to roll up. Exhale, open and arch. Inhale, rolling up. You can get the shoulders involved if you'd like. And then exhale, let it all ripple down. Inhale, rolling up. Exhale, bring it down. One more time. Good. Inhale, roll it up, stay up. Arms come overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good. I'm just gonna stay here in Tadasana on the arms by the sides, palms facing forward to just be here. Feel what you feel now that you moved a little bit. The blood is probably flowing. Your heart rate might be a little bit higher. Feel your feet on whatever you're standing on. Feel the energy through the legs. If you're gripping your glutes, try to let them go. Use the abdominals to hold you up. Armpits have space underneath them so they can breathe. Nice light fingers. Think of some lightning strikes coming out of your fingertips. Shoulders are down and back. Head is nice and lifted, chin parallel to the ground. And just breathe. Feel the gentle shifts of weight as you stand there. Notice if your feet are gripping the toes or if they're spread out, grounded and rooted. Notice if this is uncomfortable to stand still. Just notice. If you don't wanna focus on yourself today, maybe it's nature or whatever's around you, it's okay to pay attention to that too. Don't worry, I'll get moving in a moment for those of you who really like to move. All right, on your next inhale, arms sweep up overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Shift your weight over into your right foot. Left leg lifts, find tree pose. Of course, what else would I start with? Find your strength here. <clears throat> Find your confidence here. If you fall over a lot, it's okay. If you have a wall nearby, feel free to go against the wall and hold on to it. Arms can do whatever you'd like them to do. So if you'd like to extend them up, if you'd like to keep them at the heart, 
if you want to move and dance with them, if you're feeling a little bit more creative, if you want to bring them behind the back to open the heart more. All good options. And we'll stay in tree for about two or three more breaths. Gently release, coming back into your Tadasana. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, dive it forward. We'll take a half sun salutation. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. As you exhale, hands come to the heart. Pull the abdominals together. Shift over into your left foot. Find tree pose on this side. Find your breath, find your strength, find the confidence in the pose. It's okay if you don't feel confident at first, it'll come. And let the arms go where you want them to go. If you'd like to dance with the arms, if you want to be in stillness, if you need to connect more with your breath, if you want more chest opening, whatever it is that you might need, follow your intuition. Stay for about two or three more breaths. And gently release the foot down, let the arms release. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, folding forward, half sun salutation. So Zeus hasn't given me a lot of room on my mat, but I'd like to move through a full sun salutation. So part of me may come off screen or even off my mat, so bear with me. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, folding. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step or float back to plank. And move through your vinyasa. Please chest chin or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog or child. You're being a good boy this morning. Although you hijacked my mat. Alright, so from here, coming into downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up and back, three legged dog. Make it a twist if you'd like. And since I did this a little bit in April towards those last two days in April, let's see if we can do some, um, it's going a little intense, a little fast. Uh, I think they're called pike presses or basically push-ups here. Ow, Zeus, that's my hand. So I'm going to bend down and push up. Inhale as you bend the elbows. Exhale, press it up. You can skip this too if you don't want to do this. I'm going to do one more. Then straighten the leg, swing it through, oh, and find low lunge. That was a nice challenge, I think. Inhaling, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, right hand to the thigh, left to the mat, give a twist. One of my faves. I think I do this in every other practice. But it just feels good to be able to open the hips and give a twist at the same time. Yes, I got it. Alright, so from here I'm going to take a quad stretch. So right hand to the left leg and gently pull it in. Be mindful that your chest does not collapse forward. Keep it open. And gently release the hand down. Find downward facing dog vinyasa if you want to. I'm going to skip it this morning. And then moving to the other side. So inhaling the left leg up and back, three-legged dog, twist it if you'd like. And 
I'll take some pike push-ups here as well. So I'm gonna walk the hands back so they're a little closer to my shoulders. And I'm gonna do five, because I did five on the first side. Hi, Sock. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, yeehaw, those second five. Oh, it's a little bit more challenging. All right, coming into low lunge. Settling into that low lunge. Inhale, sweeping your arms up. Exhale, coming into the twist. Right hand down to the mat, left to the thigh, and open the chest to the right. Inhaling, coming back to your center. Bring both hands to the inside of that front foot, tuck the back toe, bring it up to high lunge. And let's turn into a side lunge. So my weight's on the left, right leg is straight, ankle is active so the toes are up. So I think I'm gonna take the balance to start with. So the left sit bone is on the heel. I am pressing the straight leg heel into the mat as well. So finding the balance. Bringing the hands down to the mat. Now I'm going to fold forward. I'm going to let the right ankle relax a little bit. And down here, I get a little bit more stretch through the inner thigh so, and the hamstrings. So hopefully, you do too. From here, coming up onto the hands, gently walking over to the other side for the side lunge. Organize the legs so your hips are happy and find your balance. Holding forward, letting the hips slide back. And enjoying the stretch through the hamstring, the inner thigh. Ooh, inspiration just hit me. So inhale, come up onto your hands. And we're gonna turn to the right so that your right foot is in a 90 degree angle. The left leg is straight. Come into standing split. So walk the fingertips forward, left leg floats up. And be mindful here that the hip isn't open. We want the left hip to sink down towards the mat and that top leg is nice and energized. Flex or point the foot or Barbie foot it, whatever you need. Enjoy the stretch through that right leg. And one more breath. And on your inhale, lift the head. Exhale, bend the right knee a little bit. Start to lift the torso and come up into your warrior three. Good. From here, bending the back leg, bringing the heel to the sit bone. Grab the foot, Lord of the Dance. So we start in parallel. Keeping the belly lifted, keep the square, the squareness in the shoulders and the hips. Start to press into it. Gently release. Step back to warrior one. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, straighten the front leg, arms come down. Inhale, warrior one, bending the knee, arms sweep up. Exhale, straighten the leg, arms down. Repeating that a couple more times. Move into warrior one. Exhale, bring the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Humble warrior. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold it forward.
On your next inhale, lift yourself only about halfway up. Change the legs so that you're in a warrior two. Keep the arms interlaced. And then exhale, come into humble warrior with a wide stance. So now I'm allowing my hips to come back. I'm not square at all to the front of the mat. And to the inside of the right inner thigh. So this is similar to that low lunge, the side lunge that we did. And gently release the hands down to the mat. Inhale, lift yourself halfway up. Exhale, come all the way up. Let's find warrior two. Check in, how's that right leg doing? Hopefully it's feeling pretty strong. Maybe it's vibrating a little bit. Inhale, rotate the right palm. Exhale, reach it up and back, reverse warrior. Inhale, come through vertical, straight the front leg. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, coming all the way up through vertical. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, shift it back. Stay for a few breaths. Inhale, through vertical, straighten the front leg. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, and coming all the way up through vertical. Exhale, hands come to the waist. Rotate the right toes in. Left toes rotate out. Find warrior two. I'm doing a circle and I'm retrograding or I'm mirroring, not retrograding, I'm mirroring, mirroring, good morning mouth, what I did on the first side. So forgive me if I make a mistake, but I'm gonna try to go in a backwards order. So taking an inhale here and then exhaling, bringing the fingertips down to the mat. Hips are wide, I'm in a warrior two stance, hands are the inside of the front foot. Now from here, coming into the, the humble warrior, press down through the feet, bring the arms behind, roll the shoulders back, and then refold. Oh, I'm so wrong. That's not going mirror image. <laughs> That's all right. Stay there in that check. We'll get the warrior two stuff when we come up. And inhale, come all the way up. Brain fart. And then exhale, release the arms, come to warrior two. <laughs> All right, so take your reverse warrior, inhale, flip the palm. Exhale, lift it up and back. Inhaling, coming through center, straight front leg. And exhale, triangle pose. Wait, I totally confused myself this morning. Maybe I am going in backwards order, I don't know. Whatever it is, it feels pretty good. Inhale and coming all the way up. Exhale the warrior two. Inhale, rotate the palm. Exhale, reverse warrior. Staying here for a few breaths. Inhaling, coming up through center. Exhale, triangle pose. Staying here now. Any variations you'd like to play with here, you're welcome to. Softening the knee, coming back up into warrior two. Walk that back foot in, flip it to warrior one. Hands come behind, humble warrior, but squared hips, squared shoulders. On your inhale, lift the head, come all the way up. Exhale, release the arms. Inhale, sweep the arms up by your ears. Exhale, straighten your legs. Arms come down by your sides. Inhale, warrior one, re-bend the left knee. Exhale, straighten the leg, arms come down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, straighten the legs. 
straighten the leg, arms come down. Inhale. And exhale. And I think from here, I'm just going to scoot back a little bit so that I stay in the frame. From here, we have Lord of the Dance. We're shifting the weight, bending the back knee. Press the foot into the hand. Find your Lord of the Dance. And from here, warrior three. fingertips back down, feet come together, Tadasana, take those legs out a little bit, inhale, lift halfway, exhale, fold, hands to the mat, take your vinyasa or go to child's pose or go to downward facing. Hi dog, oh. <laughs> hi Zeus. <laughs> And then find your way to child's pose. <clears throat> From here, gently come up onto hands and knees. And let's actually let's take a few cows and cats before we move on. So inhaling, arching the spine. Exhale, curl it out. Go at your own pace. I'll give you a warning before I move on. Take one more round of breath. Bring yourself back to neutral and find a nice seated position with the legs out in front. So from here, uh, let's move into Dandasana, which is staff pose. So in Dandasana, you really want the sit bones to be down into the mat. So you're sitting up nice and tall. I'm about to get some company, I think. All right, Zeus. Hi, buddy. You're sitting up nice and tall through the spine. If you have tightness and you need to bend the knees, it's fine. Bend the knees. The heels press down into the mat, regardless of the position of the knees. Your hands will come right next to your hips. The fleshy part, you know, right by the ball and uh, ball and socket joint. And the hands press down. Sitting up nice and tall. Gentle press through the arms. You don't want the elbows to lock out. There is a little softness there. Scooping the lower belly pulling the front ribs together. Inhale, and then exhale, gently lower the chin. It does not have to touch. There can be space there as we don't want to overstretch the back of the neck. Put on your inhale, lift the head. Exhale, gently release. Keep that extension through the spine. Take your right leg, let's cradle it. Give a little rock from side to side. You know what's amazing is that, with this dog anyway, see how calm he is? <laughs> it's nice and relaxed, no problems. When I'm in the house, it's like mass chaos. It's a very interesting dog. Anyway, bring your leg to half lotus. Sitting up nice and tall, we'll take Ardha, Bada, Hashimotanasana. So sitting up nice and tall, 
little micro twist here, and then if it's available to you, go ahead and pull forward. Enjoy the ankle pressing through the thigh bone. Breathe into it, it is a nice trigger point. And then inhale, gently come up. Exhale where you need. Let's bring that top foot into Janu Shirshasana, so bottom of the foot to the inner thigh. Sitting up nice and tall again. If you've lost that, give a little twist. Thanks for the kisses, buddy. And then exhale, fold it forward for Janu Shirshasana. On your inhale, lift the head. Exhale, gently release, bringing the right leg out. Give it a little shake. <laughs> and then come to the other side. So the left leg comes into the cradle position. Give a little rock. And then that top foot comes into half lotus, whatever that means for you. It's okay if it's closer to the knee than the hip, no problem. Sit up nice and tall. And it's okay if this side feels different. Each hip is different. It's all good. Okay. So if on this side you need to stay upright, do that. If you'd like to fold forward, do that. Just be mindful you don't have any pain or pins and needles. If you have any of that stuff, then ease out of the pose. On your inhale, bring yourself back up through vertical and then come into Janu Shirshasana on the other side. So you're releasing the foot, bringing it to the inner thigh. Very similar as in tree pose. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, a little twist and fold forward. Are you gonna prove me wrong right now? No, you're being a good boy. Inhaling, lifting the head. Exhale, gently releasing. Let the left leg go out in front. Give a little shake. And let's come into bound angle pose. So bottoms of the feet together. You can either hold on to the ankles or the arches of the feet, but be mindful not to grab the toes and pull them upwards. That stretches out the outside of the ankle in a not so healthy way. So either hold on with the thumb here and the fingers here or hold on to the ankles themselves, or the shin bones, whatever you can reach. And sit up nice and tall. Open the elbows and exhale, gently hinge forward. And gently come up through center. We're gonna take a little twist here. <laughs> So bringing the right hand to the right thigh. You don't want it to be on the knee joint itself, but just above that. Inhale through the spine, lengthening, and then exhale, gently press that leg down to the mat. The other one, make sure it's nice and relaxed and not gripping. Then inhale through center, and gently switch to the other side, exhaling as you twist. A lot of peacocks this morning. A nice sound to hear. Sort of. Then inhale, come through center. We're going to stay here for just a little bit longer and exhale, fold forward any way you'd like to. a few more breaths here in your bound angle pose. My fingers are not for your snack. No snacking on my fingers. Gently rolling up. Now we'll come out of this very slowly. So bringing your hands to the outer legs. Use your hands and your arms to close them. Alright, apparently. People are out. <laughs> Hands 
come behind and gently rock from side to side. Take it very slow and very subtle to start. And as it starts to feel better, it starts to open up. You can take the rock a little bit bigger. Mm. Mm, that inward rotation. Mm -hmm. Yoga. All right, so coming back up through center, I think it's Shavasana time. Mm -hmm. So let those legs go out about the width of the mat part. Slowly roll down through the spine and find your Shavasana. Eyes closed, body relaxed. If you're in a cold climate, cover up, have a blanket over you or whatever you might have just to keep your heat a little bit longer. I'm not sure how long we'll stay here for, but I'm going to try to count my breath to about 20 or 25. you happen to hear the neighbor making those sounds, that's what locals do to try to scare the monkeys away. They just make noises at them. <laughs> but it sounds like he's laughing. to take a nice deep breath. <laughs> I lost my count because the guy who's scaring the monkeys away kind of got to me. <laughs> Start to find energy in your fingers, toes, wrists, and ankles. <laughs> Let the arms extend up overhead. Give a nice long stretch. Hug the knees in towards your chest and give a little rock from side to side. Roll onto your right side into fetal position. Hmm. And gently bring yourself up to a seated position. <clears throat> Eyes closed, either one hand on your heart, one on your belly, or bring your hands to prayer at your heart. Check in with your breath and your body after our practice this morning. <laughs> Maybe give a few moments of gratitude, something you're thankful for today.
big German shepherd sitting on your lap. Okay, this is a first. Om Shanti 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 Namaste, my friends. Um, I can't really get up and say hi. Okay, just get up. <laughs> I was gonna say, I couldn't get up and come and say hi. All right, so um, thanks so much for joining me on this second day of May. I realized in the beginning I didn't say the date. Uh, it's, at least it's May 2nd where I am. Uh, beautiful Saturday morning. I'll give you a little bit of a view of the rice paddy fields behind me because it is fascinating how they uh, are processed throughout the year. But uh, before I get to that, <clears throat> I have started a donation page uh, on Subscribestar. And if you're somebody who watches creators on the old YouTube and other um, websites, you'll see that they um, other people do this too. Uh, anyway, I know times are tough, but even a dollar would be great. Um, so you can check me out there, and I will be resharing this on Facebook and on YouTube, should my technology work properly. So let me know if you like this new atmosphere, if you like this new location. Just give me a little shout out somewhere, wherever you're watching this, and let me know if you like it. Because if you do, I'll continue to do practices here uh, as long as the weather is good because when it rains it rains in this pavilion as well all right so on to the rice paddy field I'm gonna switch the camera here and bring you over so they're in the midst of flooding the fields and nobody's out at the moment but when the men come out with their tools they scoop up the muddy water and if you can see where's my finger there's my finger if you see along here they build this themselves and they build a little hole so that when the tier above it is filled with water it pours down um, but as you can see the reflections this morning are beautiful in the water the mud isn't so pretty to look at but honestly rice paddy fields are pretty cool looking you can see in the distance there is a little bit of uh, grass growing over there and I would guess that in a few months we'll see some uh, rice growing and I'll share that with you uh, when that happens so I hope you have a beautiful day wherever you are and I hope you'll join me this month of May with the wake and stretch. Have a beautiful day. Bye.